it is right-hander Jared Parker on the mound for the Athletics, making his eighth start for the Athletics and ninth of his career. But Jared Parker facing this very good Rangers team for the first time. And I guess if there's a silver line in there, he's facing them here at the Coliseum instead of at their home park in Arlington, Texas, where it is a uh, launching plan. Of course, they have them. They can hit them anywhere, but Jared Parker will test his fastball and change them. Hamilton takes off. The pitch is high. Throw to second base is in time, and Hamilton's out. So Kurt Suzuki throws out Josh Hamilton, and that's how the... That was the game that... Willingham hit the home run. Weeks. Nice play. Takes a hit away from Nelson Cruz. And that's a three up, three down inning. So, very nice play by Jamile Weeks. So, another 2 2 to Mitch Boylan. And he rolls it toward Weeks. Weeks spins, gets the out at second, throw back to first. Double play. 4 6 3. Parker's out of it. And the Rangers do not score. Bottom of the third coming up. 8 to nothing. The A's lead. Special assistants, special advisors, our office people, you know, David Forrest and Farhan Zaidi and uh, Billy, they, they go out and see players as well. Uh, stick around, Eric. We want to talk more about this year's draft, maybe see how some of the guys from the last couple years are doing in the minor leagues. 8 nothing, A's lead. As he is out of baseball, obviously, for quite a while, what might have happened if he'd gone through the system yeah. the right way? Yeah. He's got to think about it. Nice inning for Jared Parker. Rangers still looking for their first hit. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. He had been pitching so far this season. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a 93 mile an hour fastball. So Jared Parker, good through six innings. 10 nothing Athletics. That one bounced toward Inge. Tough hop. Smothers it. Guns it across. And that will do it. Rangers still looking for their first hit. 10 nothing A's. We've reached the seventh inning stretch. Young is 0 for 2. That one bounced up the middle, and that's a base hit. So there's your first hit for the Texas Rangers. It's a single in the center field by Michael Young. And that sigh of relief that you hear in the A's dugout is that of Kurt Young and Bob Melton. And no doubt the A's bullpen will start to get loose. And the ovation by the 10,000 plus on hand tonight, very deserving for young Jared Parker as he does give up the first hit. We'll find out. Weeks tags the runner, flips the first double play. Just like that, Parker walks off the mound. He gives up the hit, but he only needs four pitches to get through the eighth. 111 pitches, nine ground ball outs, eight fly ball outs, six strikeouts and a caught stealing. There's 24 outs and just a brilliant pitching performance by the A's starter tonight. So anytime you take a no hitter into the eighth inning against the Texas Rangers, that, folks, is a feat. Especially against the Rangers, like you said, because they're such a very good hitting ball club. And Probably the biggest thing the A's with the eighth run second inning added a couple more with the Kai Hui home run, but uh, I just don't think there's any time that you can say the Rangers are out of a ball game. They're as good as hitting club as they are, but uh, maybe that eight spot was just enough. But there's no doubt pitching was what it was all about tonight with Jared Parker pitching as effectively as he did, and especially after the eight minutes. What did you see from Jared Parker tonight that seems to be working the best? I know we've seen him when he struggles, the changeup isn't always there, but boy, it was there tonight. You know, he, he's talked about that, where at times his changeup has not been working for him early in the game, but then he settled down and he gets better. And I think that's always a key. If you can get better with a pitch as a game progresses, keep working on it, that makes you a very special pitcher.